Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and let's just say it is really easy to screw up. Really, really easy. I've screwed up a ton in my life. It's a little bit harder to admit you screwed up, and it is a lot harder to fix your screw up. And that's exactly what we were talking about today. Short little video, this one is about Unity, and Unity doing a good thing to undo a bad thing. So I did a video yesterday about Unity forcing cloud projects. Now it's not a huge deal, but the optics of this are absolutely terrible, especially with uh, Unity's recent licensing crackdown making the news, you don't want Unity tracking you even more than they already do. And that's basically what they just did. They made it so that when you create a new project, you had no longer had the option to say, I do not want to hook this up to Unity Cloud. That meant that every project you created, created in a uh, UID on the Unity servers of that project. And there's actually currently also no way to delete it. You can archive it, but you cannot delete it. So what you see here, this is the update they made. So they, they got rid of the use Unity Cloud thing, uh, but you could actually remove it out. So you could uh, create it and then disconnect it from the Unity Cloud if you wish, but there was no way to delete it. So this was what they did. Not, not a good optics thing. And let's be honest, Unity kind of need good optics right now. Uh, and I'm gonna do this as a live update. So this is just to prove, because I got a lot of comments basically saying, uh, this is clickbait, there's nothing there, you can still create your project that way. Well, that's because they listened to us. So I put that video up, a lot of other comments were made about this, their forum was flooded with comments saying they do not like this change, so Unity did the right thing, and they reverted the change. So right now you see, this is uh, right here, no cloud. I haven't restarted yet though, so no cloud here, and if I come in here, Unity Hub 3.13.0. All right, so what I'm going to do is go on down here. We shall exit out completely. And now fire up Unity Hub, like so. And it should now be back to normal. They've changed it slightly, so uh, the verbiage is a bit different. But uh, now when you create a new project, so first off, uh, they didn't do a version bump, so it's 3.13 still. All right, so let's go here. We will create a new project, like so. And... Okay, well, this is um, uh, this is an experience. Okay, so I had to stop and pause and figure out exactly where they added this back. And the good news is it is back. The bad news is the implementation is god awful. So what have they done? Well, what you do now is you come down here and you can create your new project. For example, here, my project. What you're gonna wanna do there is expand that out. You're going to get a list of all of your projects, but now underneath of it, they have the ability to create a new local project like so. And then you can name it all my base offline, for example. And that will create you an offline project. So good news, bad news, good news here. So the good news is they listen to the community. The bad news is their implementation is not great. Really what they should have done uh, is just made it right here. Create a new project add a new button, make this offline. Now they've also scrambled to do this. So it could be that this is a temporary hack solution. But for right now, at least they listen to the community, the backlash of forcing us to have cloud projects. Well, what they've done is they've made it so that you can now do it this way. They've done it in what I would, if I was being negative here, I would call this a dark pattern in that they're trying to get you to create it online only, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say that this is them scrambling for a solution and then ultimately they will put it back the way it was. So the good news is they heard us. They heard us loud and clear that they do not like us forcing these cloud projects. So there is a workaround. It's just not the idealist of workarounds. So if you're interested in knowing, and I got a lot of comments basically calling me a liar and you could create a new project. You just had to scroll down, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, they actually added this in a response to community backlash. So the important thing you want to know here is if you don't like something they do, they are listening to their users. They're listening to their users a lot better than they were back with the runtime fee. That is certainly, and don't keep in mind, this is nothing close to the runtime fee in terms of scandal or mistake, or right? this is just, they did something stupid. Uh, it had very bad optics around it and they have rolled it back, but the way they rolled it back was not ideal. All right, so here we've got a follow-up. Uh, this one is again from my gig. This was the same person who was was out in front of this earlier on. Great guy, I have met him in real life. He honestly wants Unity to be as great of an engine as possible. Uh, so here is his response coming out. By the way, this feels copy pasted because it is. I have a lot of places to post this. Thank you so much for the feedback. It really helps us make user aligned decisions. I've been discussing this with the leadership internally and the point we keep coming back to was we want more users to have more control over their data in all forms. As such, we have decided for now to re-add the ability to choose whether a project is auto-connected to the cloud in Unity Hub. 
The change should be live very soon. You just need to restart the hub to see it. FYI, I believe the UI will look a little different than before. It will say something like create offline. Going forward, we will continue to work with our users to determine the right way to enable controls uh, and tools for people that want them. So anyways, I wanted to thank to make sure that you saw that your feedback was listened to. And again, I really appreciate you speaking up. If you have any other questions, feel free to ping me. So this was straight up. They admit they made a mistake and they undid that mistake. Uh, so that is quite nice. Good to hear. Um, there's this kind of comment here in terms of, uh, again, the UI is very irritating. And then this warning is fully true. Uh, so I reaffirm my warning, having to write against unit every time they decide something they know is hostile to the users uh, is an exhausting cycle. It is constant these days. Your users will not tolerate it forever. Reversals are not good enough. You are still using up that very limited pool of patience and trust. So uh, again, making a mistake does definitely have costs. It's good to see that they ultimately fixed their mistake. Although in the end, this, this is not a permanent solution. Uh, this is kind of a gross hack, but at least again, they listened, they added something in, you can create offline projects without any other workaround required. So good on Unity for listening. And hopefully with a, a you know, non scrambled, oh my God, we gotta get something out there, update, we get it back the way it should be, which would basically be a checkbox right here. Hopefully we see that soon. So ladies and gentlemen, bit of an update. Let me know what you think, comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.